So today's episode, I want to take a closer look at a major downgrade that came out with Dolly 3 slash OpenAI in the past few days. And if you are a user of Dolly 3, you might have noticed that a few days ago when you were to generate images, you were, be, you were able to create four images at once. Now, it seems with the major downgrade that you're only able to create two images per batch. So obviously, this has a lot of users upset because now, in theory, if you want to generate more images, you have to use more of your messages. And as a ChatGPT Plus user, right, you're only limited to X amount of messages per every three hours. Um, so on today's episode, I want to take a closer look at some of the walkarounds that I use to kind of make sure I'm not using too many messages on just generating images images. I also want to take a closer look at some rules that Dali has in the background, some that I've noticed myself, but we all, I also, after I kind of was realizing some of the changes that were happening from Dali, I went online on Twitter and I was able to find some of the rules as well. Uh, so on today's episode, I want to take a closer look at all that. So let's get started. So yesterday I was playing around with Dali and obviously, as you can tell, I come from a Spanish speaking family. Um, and my dad's a huge tech guy, right? He's big into computers and I wanted to get him more into AI a little bit more. So I wanted to see if Dali and OpenAI would be able to kind of be useful if I was a speaking Spanish person or, or, or writing in Spanish, right? So yesterday I tried to ask Dali for four Cuatro fotos de un gato conduciendo un tractor. And what this means is give me four photos of a cat driving a tractor. And it actually understood and it gave me the response in Spanish. Uh, so that was great news. But what I got annoyed, I was like, hey, give me four photos and you only gave me two. And then I was like, hey, I want it four. So he gave me two more and he was like, hey, look, I gave you two before. Now I gave you some other two. So now you have your four photos. Um, and then I, I, I tried it and I was like, hey, give me four. I, I was like, maybe in Spanish, there's some miscommunication happening. Let me try this in English. So I was like, give me four images of an apple piloting a plane. And it gave me four images, but I noticed it gave it to me in two weird ways. It gave it to me in two batches of two. So first it generated two images and then it generated two other images. So I'm like, hey, look, you used to be, gen you used to be able to generate four images at once. Why are you doing only two now? And ChatGPT actually responded to me. I was amazed that it knew what changed and it said, I apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, apology accepted. It does mention that you were right. The AI was able to generate multiple images. However, due to recent changes and optimization in the system, I now generate images in batches of two for better performance and user experience. And to me, this got me pretty mad. Obviously, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure Dali is getting so many requests. So they're probably saying, hey, look, maybe most users are, are happy with the first two images. So let's break it down to kind of reduce the cost for open AI. Um, and, but at the end of the day, I was like, I got pretty upset because this means that now I have to use more of my messaging um, and I will reduce the amount of messages I can use every three hours if I'm requesting more and more phone photos. Uh, so I was like, hey, look, so what are the rules you have now? And the first thing it did is, hey, look, the number of images that I can generate up to are two images per request, even if more are requested. Okay, so I, I kind of hated that. We're going to take a closer look at the other problems, but what I want to do is first take a closer look at how to solve this issue. So this issue was actually solved pretty quickly. Before we go any further, guys, if you can, I am trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be amazing here for this AI channel. So if you haven't, make sure to hit the thumbs up to hit the subscribe button. I'm pretty great. I'm really, really grateful. Not pretty. I'm really grateful for all the support I'm getting and all the views we're getting in the in, in these videos. Uh, so again, if you haven't, make sure to hit thumbs up, the thumbs up, the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments below, what are some of the rules you might have noticed here with Dali that have gotten you annoyed or something you just noticed in general? So thank you and make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. We're gonna take a closer look at this in a bit. Uh, but I was like, hello, I know you, your, your new rule, my broken English here, um, you can only make two images per prompt. Can you make four images instead, but still following your rule by making the first batch of two and then make the second batch with another two. And I was like, hey, look, can I get four images of an avatar lava bending? I don't know why my wife and I just started watching The Legend of Korra again. Uh, so lava bending was kind of uh, was into my mind. And I started to get that, right? So now every time I ask for images, I get two images. I, I get four images, right? It just kind of gives me the prompt 
in two different ways. It, can, it gives me the first prompt, and then it gives me the second batch. Um, and then here it tells you, here are the additional images of an avatar lab, lava bending. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. Um, I, then I had another question, right? So I, first we know that this company or DALI has a image creation um, limit. So it can only create two images per batch. Another thing that I have noticed is if I ask for too much, too many images at once, it tells me, hey, look, you've kind of hit your limit. Can you just stop? Give me a few minutes. And after a few minutes, um, I'll be able to give you more images as well. Um, so I was like, hey, look, I know you have a limit on how many images you can create per batch, but do you also have a limit on total images you can make within a certain time limit? And obviously it tells me no. And I'm like, hey, look, you're a liar. But when I make too many images, I get I, I can get a rate limit error. Um, and it tells me, hey, look, I apologize for the confusion. Yes, there are rate limits in place to prevent excessive use. Um, and I, it, But it didn't know the actual error or, or the actual limit. And I guess this limit fluctuates over time depending on, on the overall amount of usage you're seeing all around the world. Uh, I was trying to be smart. I was like, hey, look, so I make sure not to abuse the system. What is the rate limit error? How can I know that I'm not abusing something if I don't know the rules? And it says, hey, look, I completely... Um, understand your concern. Unfortunately, I can't give you the rate limit. Um, it, it didn't really have the answer because it's somewhere else. Um, but it is something to keep in, in, in mind of, right? So there is what they have, their image creation. They can only create two images um, per batch. But if you do what I'm about to do, you're going to also hit your image limit. And your image limit, it, usually you have to wait a few minutes or so or, or some form of time limit before you reset. Uh, so now I say, hey, look, now give me four images of an avatar, water, and earth bending. And now it's giving me four images. Um, it, then I asked, hey, look, is it possible to do six images each time? And it tells me, no, I can't. I, I say, wait, but to follow your rule, can you just do three batches of two images per batch? And like that, we are both happy. And, and it says, yes, let's do that. Can you? And then I was like, can you do um, six images of an avatar bending? And now it's able to give me six images. So obviously, you can kind of go from here and do maybe 10 images if you want, 12 images. But remember, while you might not hit your message limit, what you are going to hit is that rate limit of how many images are created within some certain time limit. And then you're going to get hit with, hey, you have to wait a few minutes before I'm able to generate any more images for you. I do believe OpenAI might start to flag things like this. And if you start to hit that limit too many times, they might flag you a little bit more. And maybe that might lead to something else. So something for invest, um, I don't know why I'm saying investors, something for users to keep in mind of in the future, right? So I would say I don't really want to hit those limits as many uh, possible, but I do want to improve or increase the amount of images I'm getting per request. And like this, I'm, I'm not using my, what is it, 50 messages every three hours. Uh, so here it tells me, hey, look, you can do, uh, can you do six images? And now it gives me six images. Uh, so I, I do believe we kind of got through that first rule. And I think this is definitely going to help out a lot of viewers. Now, the other thing is I wanted to notice, I, I wanted to find out what are some of the other rules that Dolly has. And a lot of them are pretty, I, I want to say, if you kind of generated plenty of images here in Dali, you might have noticed some of them already. Uh, for example, first, they don't do public figures. They won't create images of politicians or other public figures. Instead, they'll recommend other ideas. Um, they also won't do recent artists. They won't create images in the style of an artist whose last work was created within the last 100 years. They make sure that the prompts are descriptive. They have to be very, very descriptive of every part of the image. There have to be diversity in the people depiction. Uh, so if you're getting four images, you're going to notice that those four images, unless you request it, are going to be all different, maybe age, race, or gender. Um, they also mention specific people or celebrities might not be able to kind of be generated. The image type is always mentioned. It could either be photo, oil pen painting, watercolor painting, illustration, etc. And that's always going to be at the beginning of the caption. 
They also have some resolutions. They only can do wide, square, or tall. The default is square at 10, uh, 1024 by 1024, but other formats can be used on the description. Um, I ask, hey, look, is, are, are you sure that's all the rules? Pretty much yes. Um, they, they also do avoid mentioning prompts post generations. It does not list or refer to the description before or after generating the images. And they do modifications of description. If necessarily, descriptions may be silently modified to fit within guidelines, especially when referring specific people or art and we're going to see that in a bit bias and inclusion for scenarios where bias has historically been an issue make sure depictions are unbiased and obviously avoid offensive ima uh, imagery right all, all these make sense um, I actually wanted to learn what resolutions do they support and like they mentioned square that's 1024 by 1024 wide which is 1792 by 1024 and tall which is 1024 by 1792 and me as a content creator and more for thumbnails I usually ask for a 16 by 9 ratio and I was like, hey, just curious. I know which one they would give me. Which ratio would you give me if I asked for 16 by 9? They would give me the wide resolution, and that would be the 1792 by 1024. So we do learn a lot here. So no, I, I, I was like, hey, look, if I was to ask for art in the style of Pokemon, is there any rule that objects that? If not, can you give me two dragons in Pokemon style? And Dali, for each generation, like it mentions, it's going to tell you illustration in the style reminiscent of Pokemon games. And then it kind of gives a full prompt. You're not going to see this prompt anywhere else. The only time you're going to see the prompt is when you click the image. And you're going to notice the prompt is different for every image. Here, you're going to see the illustration in the style reminiscent of Pokemon games showcasing a fiery red dragon. So we can see the prompt is going to be different for every image and this is going to help kind of bring that diversification of, of image solutions. So I just wanted to try that out a little bit more. Uh, but now if we go back to my lava bending scenario here, I just want to showcase the other ways that um, Dali is kind of working. Um, here, if we kind of see, can I get four images of av an avatar lava bending? You can see here that there's different art styles. So it's going to give me a photo. We can see a photo style here, which is more realistic. I'm going to say this is an illustration. It's also going to give me more of an oil painting right here. And it's going to give me more of a vector art. So all four images it generated was different. The other thing is you might notice that the person or pers people are different. Here is more of a, a middle-aged uh, white man. Here you have kind of like a female. Um, and here you have just like some random ki kid or teenager. So different ages, different races, different gender um, and ages, if I didn't mention that before. So um, I, I wanted to keep trying it out, right? I, I was like, hey, look, give me four images of an avatar, water, and earth bending. And here, again, we see four different art styles. We see, again, a photo of more kind of realistic. You see more of an illustration. Again, now you see a female where previously was a young male. Here you have an oil painting. And here you have a vector art of a young um, bender with medium tone, right? So again, you see in that diversification. So... Um, another thing you can do is now, um, and here we do it with the six images, right? In the six images, you kind of see uh, a, a medium tone skin male um, in photo style. Then here you have more of like, a, I'm going to say an illustration of a young avatar with pale skin. Here you're going to see more of an oil painting of an avatar with a deep brown skin, right? So you're seeing different vectors. Uh, but here we can see, right, different styles and different types of genders and age. Um, and now I was like, hey, look, I wanted to get more consistency with the art that I'm getting. So I'm like, hey, look, instead, can you just give me illustrations and also just male avatars in the early 20s? And now give me six more. So now Dao Li is not going to go and completely diversify. It's not going to give me oil paintings. It's not going to give me vectors. It's not going to give me photos. It's just going to give me illustrations. So now if we take a closer look at all the prompts, it's going to be the illustrations of a young male avatar, right? I asked for a male. I didn't really specify for a skin color, so they gave me 
color, color, uh, skin color in different ranges from pale to tan to dark. Um, but we can see all of these are illustrations. They're no longer photos, no longer oil paintings, no other vectors. So now we kind of get a consistency in both the character to some extent and also the art style. The other thing you can do is, hey, look, can you make sure that they're all in a modern city style and give me six more? So now I'm continuing to build on that consistency. I just want it in certain in a certain art. I want a certain character. I want a certain type of setting. So now all the pictures here are going to be in the illustrations of a male avatar in a modern city. So we can see that happening all over here. So I do want to say if you want to kind of work with Dali, Dali originally starts very diversified, right? It's going to give you random images in different art style. You as the user need to kind of learn what you want and say what kind of art style you want, what kind of characters do you want, what kind of age group, what kind of setting, what kind of colors. If I, I can probably say, hey, look, now only focus on using colors green and red, right? And give um, give me six six more images. So now uh, I'm hoping that for from now on, it's going to give me six images, but it's only going to be focused on those colors. So I do believe this is pretty impressive. And again, it, it kind of helps out with generating what we want here in OpenAI and Dolly 3. Uh, so I do believe I originally hated this, but it does seem like there's a very, very easy workaround with this. Um, it does seem like maybe most people using it probably are going to pick the first two prompts. So that's why uh, Dolly and OpenAI made these changes. Obviously, it's going to be it's optimizing it for them. And here we can see right now they're only using the colors green and red to really focus. It's generating the first batch. Now it's gonna kind of create the next batch and give me some more. We're still focused here in just a modern city and we're also just focused in a modern art, uh, in, in kind of a, a, male, a, a male character. And now look, so this is gonna happen a lot. I apologize for the inconvenience. We're experiencing heavy survey loads. To be sure, everyone, we have a rate limit in place. Please wait 11 minutes before generating more images. Thank you for understanding. If you have other questions or concerns in the meantime, please let me know. Uh, so we can see that there are those limits in place of maybe I didn't hit my message limit. I can go use other OpenAI solutions, but I have hit my image limit for now. Uh, and I would have to wait 11 minutes before generating more images. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I thought it was very descriptive. Um, let me know what other rules you might have found out obviously you can't kind of get images directly you can't say hey look give me images of the hulk but when you take a closer look at the prompt the prompt is going to be changed around and it's going to be like give a hulk like character or something like that um so i do like how dali is in my opinion is trying to save its behind from legal lawsuits to some extent because it's not properly it's not it's not using that direct image or our or art but it is looking at our style surrounding um that type of criteria so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode take care have a good day and see you next time